guys? It's your girl Lexus Makaya and I'm back with another video. Okay, so your girl is in Miami, Florida. As you guys know, if you follow me on my Instagram, it's pretty smart for you to start following me right now because you guys would already know. Okay, so I announced a little while ago that I was gonna come to Miami and get a surprise and a lot of you guys guessed it and a lot of guys didn't, but if you get it, I'm going to get plastic surgery. Now I know, you, I know some people stay natural. You don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it. Well, they're boobs. They can always come out if I don't like them. You know, I can always get them redone if something goes wrong. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I pray nothing goes wrong. And they're boobs. I am not gonna get them too big because I'm gonna be pissed. I don't wanna be big boob Nancy. Shaped like a pea, little at the bottom, little at the bottom, big at the top, big body. I mean, big top, little body. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. So this is not that at all. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So today is my post-op day and my surgery is on the 10th. Originally, my surgery was supposed to be on the 8th and they pushed me back to the 9th. Then they said, oh, well, we're booked up, so we got to push you back to the 10th. So I'm like, bitch, come on. So I'm not going to announce the place because they are not paying me when i go there today i'm gonna see if they can give me a discount if they can give me a discount that would be great if they can't then they're definitely not getting no free promo off of me so a lot of you guys are like you don't need surgery look at your boobs they're perfect so you see i don't you guys cannot tell me i got boobs like look at this i have something but it's not some it's not what i want so i'm gonna get my boobs done um i'm very scared i'm very nervous um I'm, it's a very scary situation but it's also a very like good situation like if it turns out good that would be great but um yeah so i just checked the uber and i'm on my way to my post op now and it's basically just saying it's freaking twenty dollars to uber freaking two minutes literally i picked the perfect airbnb at the perfect distance but yet i'm still paying a 30 minute driving fee like 20 dollars to go two minutes i will walk but no i'm gonna make it look crazy right now but yeah guys so that's what's going on um, i'm gonna give you guys like a little mini tour so I'm gonna be vlogging my post op. So basically, here's the rundown. I don't want to talk too much, but first, before I get to this video, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you follow my Instagram. Also, I don't want to do too much talking, but the post op is supposed to be where I pick the size of my titties, and I'm gonna show you guys that because a lot of times I was doing so much research. It's not a lot of people recording this stuff. Like it's a lot of. It's not a lot of black girls recording this stuff. So I think you guys need to see something that, like, my audience is mostly, you know african-american so i said i need to show you guys like what we go through or what you know from a point of view from an african-american point of view and yeah let's get into the video so this is my bathroom this is the bathroom it's super cute it's like this
ask her cut how does that work? Let me just film. I don't know which one this is, guys. I'm just, I like playing with them. I think I'm getting this one. I don't know. I don't like the ripples. No, this is not the one I'm getting. It's like, it's like, I'm get this one. I'm gonna get this one. This is the one. I think I'm gonna get this one. So guys, so it's the night before my surgery and I meant to vlog a little earlier. I showed you guys like my gummy bears and what I what I'm gonna get. So a lot of times when I watch like people videos, they did not tell you guys what they're getting. So I'm getting gummy bear, high profile. Um honestly, I wouldn't go back to this plastic surgery place only because it's just like the shit was everywhere. She was they were just everywhere. First when I got there, I got there at 10 o'clock this morning. It was like seven people in the waiting room when I walked in. I sat down, I was sitting there for like 30 minutes to an hour. They finally called me to the back. They called me to the back and it was to draw blood and I'm answered the clip right here to draw blood. First of all, I was not aware that I had to draw any blood. I knew I had to do the drug test and the um COVID testing, but drawing blood, like why are you guys drawing my blood again? And they drew everybody blood, not just mine. So it wasn't like, oh, well you're getting this surgery so you need this, but like why are you guys drawing my blood for it and not telling me that you have to do that? They took three tubes of blood. Like I don't like needles, so that kind of took me back. Then they said, okay, go back to the waiting room. Go back to the waiting room. So I go back to the waiting room. Remind y'all, I got there like 10. I didn't go back to like 11.30. Then I went back to the waiting room. So around like 12, around like 12.30, they told me to come um, get, they told me to come back again. So I'm like, okay, cool. They finna have me do my paperwork, pick out what size boobs I want, cool. No, bitch, no. So I go back there, they were like, okay, what size is your back? I said, I'm a 32. She said, what size are you now? I'm like, a 32B. And then they were like, okay, writing it down, they was like, you're gonna get a free training bra that comes with your package. You're gonna, um, you could buy one here if you want to and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, cool. So where the paperwork? She was like, go sit back in the waiting room. So I go sit back in the waiting room, y'all. It's now, I've been there since 10 this morning, a little before, no, like 10 this morning. So now it's like two, it's like one going on two. So I get up, cause I've just been sitting there and I've been seeing people who came after me go in the back. And I'm like, hold up. So I get up, I'm like, hey, when am I gonna get back there? Like, when am I gonna go back there? So she's like, you can go back there now. So I go back there, y'all. It's like the trap house jumping like a Wednesday or Tuesday. Trap house jumping. Everybody is, it's so packed. Like, we social distancing, but it's still so many people in there. And it's so many people in there. Everybody filling out their paperwork. So she tell me to go sit in a chair. 20 minutes, 15 minutes go by, I finally go do my paperwork y'all it's so much paperwork like it's three stacks of paperwork and it wouldn't be so much like signing initialing signing stuff it wouldn't be so bad if they kept walking off and not coming back for 10 20 minutes somebody done fail y'all somebody done fail she just got out of bbl it was her massage time she done fail over in front of everybody and the people who was getting bbl stuff was like oh my god i don't need to see this this is gonna make me scared like this is too much like it was just too much too many people scheduled too close to each other like this one girl said that her surgery was at 12 and another girl's surgery was at 12 30 with the same doctor with a bbl how is that even possible like how you they were just trying they was just doing too much trying to get everybody in and didn't have enough workers like it was too much going on like i was getting attitude so finally after hours i've been there for seven hours 10 11 12 1 2 3 5 hours not seven five hours they finally tell me to wait in another waiting room after i finish with my paperwork so i take my pictures you know my before my before pictures and 
I was trying to ask them like, hey, do you want me to do promotional? How can I get a discount? Whatever like that. They was really giving me the warning around like ask your doctor, ask your doctor. So I'm gonna ask my doctor tomorrow. I'm gonna set a reminder because she asked me did I have any questions. I was so irritated and ready to go. I said no. I totally forgot to ask about like, can I get a discount? Cause bitch, if I can get a couple bands off, if I can get a $500 off, that's something rather than, you know, nothing. So finally I took my pictures. I'm gonna insert a clip where I'm showing y'all the gummy bears, the saline implants, me playing with them, picking them up, throwing them down, which I don't supposed to be doing that shit, but I was playing with them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna insert a clip right here, but she measured me. She was just like, so what do you want? I was like, what do you think is right for my body? She was like, honestly, I know 400 is too big, right off rip, 400 is too big, but you get two options. You get your first option, and if they don't have it, they said they would have to order my implants, customize them. I don't understand that neither. Like, how you don't got implants? Like, why? She was like, well, your surgery may cancel due to the fact that the implants may not be in stock. That's the ones you want. I'm like, what? So you telling me I flew down here, got an Airbnb just to be a 50% chance that I might not get surgery. So it's a lot, but I got a text. They just, oh, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, Cause then they just text me at like set nine o'clock at night. You, I supposed to be into what time I was supposed to be there the next day, I had my prescriptions, all that stuff. They texted me last minute. They was like, you need to be there by seven o'clock in the morning. So my surgery is at seven. Uh, I need to be there at seven. I think my surgery is at 8.30 though. So I got to do like my paperwork, finish doing some more paperwork, um, do my COVID testing, do my drug testing. And yeah, and then I'm gonna get my surgery. So I'm gonna try to vlog that for y'all. I'm trying to vlog more than what I did. It was just too many people in there. Too many people in my face. I could not pull out my camera. It was just too much going on. So yeah, guys. I hope I kept you guys up to date. And I'm going to vlog a little bit more tomorrow. Love ya. What's up, guys? So it's the day of my surgery. And it is... What time is it? I'm going to show you something. Is it? It's... Ooh. Bro. 6.39, they said we had to be there by, we had to be there by seven. So, look at my eyebrows, look how she did my eyebrows. They so much thicker, my eyebrows go down here and they all the way up here. But, um, they said we have to be there by seven, so we're just gonna go. I'm gonna call the Uber, the Uber is like $20 to get there and it's like 20 minutes away. It's 1919. That's how much the Uber costs. So we're gonna go there. This is my caretaker, Maya, and I'm so thankful for her. <laughs> so she's gonna take me there, or whatever, and then go get my prescription, I guess, and then come back. Um, oh yeah, you gotta send me a cash out. I need to stop touching my. I'd be scared to touch my face, cause you don't know what you done touched in Corona. I'd be so scared. For real, like I'd be scared to even touch my face now. <sighs> Ma'am, we finna go. I look crazy. I don't got no lashes on, but we finna go. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit. I think I gotta do some more paperwork. I gotta do a drug test today. I gotta do I gotta do some more paperwork, a drug test, and I gotta do um a COVID test then. And then I think I'm gonna be ready to go in the surgery. They told me my surgery is like 25 minutes. Last night in my portal, I deposited $1,500 towards my surgery. And then I'm gonna deposit the rest after my surgery. Or probably when I go. No one now they're gonna be like, money, money, pay up front, pay up front. So I'm gonna just pay it the rest of the front. But yeah, hopefully I pass this COVID test and that's my biggest fear because I'm going to be so pissed if I don't pass. I'm going to see you guys when I got on my like, can I vlog back there on surgery day? I don't think I could vlog on surgery day because they tell me to give all my personal belongings to my caretakers. I don't think I could vlog for y'all, but I'm going to vlog when I get home. So I'm going to have my camera sitting by my bed so I can vlog.
so I'm out of surgery. I got my surgery like around two, like one, got done like around two, got home like around three. It's seven, I took like two naps and uh, my body hurts, it's sore. It's like, if I'm laying like this, I'm fine. It just feel pressure. But when I get up and walk around, that's when that shit hurts. It hurts so bad walking around. But it's just the first day, you know? People said it get better after the second, third day. And I, I done seen people personally watch YouTube channels with people up moving around on the fourth day. So, hopefully that be me. My caregiver, she went and picked up my medicine. As Soon as I got home, I popped me some pills and I went to sleep. And I woke up and then I went to sleep again. And then I woke up and I went to sleep again. And I woke up and me and my friend walked around just to get off, just to walk around. Um, the doctor said I was gonna be throwing up. I didn't throw up. She was like, I'm gonna be lightheaded. I'm not lightheaded unless I walk around for a long time. But I got my neck pillow. For those who want to get their boobs on, make sure you get a neck pillow. It is so convenient, like, so convenient. It make you so comfortable. Like, you can lean your head like this and go to sleep. This is how my boobs look. They look kinda, they look kinda big now. But they ain't this big. I feel like they just swole. I'm gonna unzip it for y'all. So this is the brow comes with. And you can see the marking that she did on my chest. Is that the little antibacterial stuff? Look. What's that, blood or antibacterial stuff? Iodine. Iodine. So this is, bro, move neck. So this is the stuff, this is the marking. You know how people titties be up here? Mine's not up here, y'all. My, my, bro. Mine's is like lower a little bit. And I don't know, I have a lot of chest. That was, she said it in my my other friend, you know, me. She said, you got a lot of chest. Like, I had boobs. My boobs were just low. They weren't saggy, because I never wear bras. Like, they was never saggy. They just was so, they just wasn't on, sitting on my chest like normal people. So like, if normal people got their boobs on, it would be up here to their collarbone. Mine's just like at a good level. So when they drop, they are gonna drop real good. I can't believe I got fake titties. Like, it's uh, it's shocking. These motherfuckers feel big though, I ain't even care. They go all the way down here. Look at them, they look so good. Uh, I hope they heal pretty good. She did her thing. I ain't doing no shout outs though, cause she ain't give me a discount, so. Yup. Everybody keep asking me where I get my boobs done. She could have had millions of customers. Because I ain't even showed y'all my boobs. And at least 20 people done asked me where did I go. Because they looking to get their boobs done. So that's her loss. She gave me a discount. Because she could have had all the surgeries she wanted. But yeah. Ooh, my mama. It feel good when I put pressure on it. But y'all, I got a full day to recover tomorrow. And then I catch a flight the next day. Tomorrow I go to my post op. They are gonna take my boobs off. I mean they are gonna take my bra off and show me how my titties look. So I'm gonna record that for you guys so you can see. I'm gonna just blur it out or something. Ooh. I'm gonna blur out my titties. So y'all won't be talking about my titties. And show y'all how they look. So I'm probably gonna go watch TV or something. And go to sleep. Bye bye. Guys, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I just want to show you guys how my boobs look. You can see the line where they drew. They look big. They look big. They look a little big. They're not too big. I'm gonna do my hair so I won't look crazy in the morning when I go to my post op. They got the tissue and I'm gonna just show y'all how they look. And they normally be up here, but they not. So that's a good thing. They do look a little big though. They look big as fuck. They look a little big. I'm kind of nervous. Like, hopefully, it don't look this big. Look. Do they look even? I can't 
can't tell. One side looks bigger than the other side. One side looks bigger than the other side. But yeah. Ooh. I'm doing too much, doing too much. Okay.